Hi everyone, welcome to the History of Football channel. Today I'll be doing another video in my Forgotten Football Ground series. However, today the title of the video is going to be a former football ground because this particular stadium were only demolished about five or six years ago, so it hasn't been forgotten just yet. And the ground I'm going to be talking about today is West Ham United's ground, Upton Park, or as it was officially known as the Bowling Ground. West Ham United were founded in 1895 and were initially called Thames Ironworks. They played at Hermit Road in Canning Town as their first ground before briefly moving to Browning Road in East Ham. And then their third home ground was called the Memorial Ground in Plasdor. They started playing there in 1897. They retained the stadium during their transition, becoming West Ham United in 1900 and were there for a further four seasons before moving to the bowling ground in 1904. West Ham United took up tenancy of the bowling ground from local club Bowling Castle in 1904 after the two clubs amalgamated. West Ham United rented Green Street House and grounds in East Ham from the Roman Catholic Church from around 1912. Green Street House was known locally as Bowling Castle because of its imposing nature and an association with Anne Boleyn, who had either stayed at or, as some believe, owned the house. Hence the ground became known as the Bowling Ground. The ground was also often referred to as Upton Park after the Upton Park London area where it was located. Upton Park initially consisted of a small west stand and covered terrace and backing onto Priory Road, along with dressing rooms situated in the northwest corner between the west stand and the north bank. West Ham United's first game at their new ground was against Millwall on the 1st of September 1904. It drew a crowd of 10,000, the majority of whom were rewarded as West Ham ran out 3-0 Willers. The ground was developed and improved over the following decades. However, in August 1944, much of that good work was ruined when a German V-1 flying bomb landed on the southwest corner of the pitch. The bomb not only caused severe damage to the ground, but the resultant fire also gutted the club's offices and destroyed historical records and documents. West Ham were forced to play 10 wartime matches away from home whilst repairs were carried out. The club returned to the ground in December 1944. In January 1969, the new East Stand replaced the famous Chicken Run Terrace, an area of the ground where fans were stood very close to the pitch, allowing them to make life very uncomfortable for opposition players. By 1990, West Ham were required to convert Upton Park into an all-seater stadium for the 1994-1995 season in order to comply with the requirements of the Taylor Report. The first stage of the redevelopment came in 1993, when the South Bank was replaced by a 9,000-seat, two-tier stand named in honour of former captain Bobby Moore, who had died earlier that year. The stand incorporated executive boxes as well as a digital clock. The North Bank was demolished in 1994 and a new 6,000-seat two-tier stand named the Centenary Stand was opened on its site the following year. This was later renamed the Sir Trevor Brooken Stand. The East Stand, Lower, was also converted into an all-seater stand. The final change came in 2000 when the West Stand was replaced by a 15,000-seat two-tier stand named the Dr Martin Stand. The stand incorporated executive boxes on two levels, as well as the West Ham United Hotel. This gave the stadium a capacity of 35,000 seats. There were plans to increase the capacity of the ground to 40,500 through the building of a new larger East Stand that would have used the spare space created when the Dr Martin Stand was built, but these plans never came to fruition. In 2006, there was a discussion amongst the West Ham board about the club possibly moving to the London Olympic Stadium after the 2012 Summer Olympics. The new chairman of the club, Egbert Magerson, had previously declared his interest in moving there. However, talks broke down between the club and the Olympic Committee after it was announced the stadium would be reduced to a 25,000 seat capacity ground which was 10,000 less than the Bowling's ground capacity, and the stadium would also have its running track leaving supporters further away from the pitch, affecting the atmosphere within the stadium. There was also rumours suggested that West Ham might move to a new stadium at the Parcel Force Depot near to West Ham Underground Mainline Station. On 7th of November 2007, Mayor of London, Ken Livingston, announced a new site had been identified for West Ham's new stadium. However, by 2009, 
Club CEO Scott Duxbury announced West Ham had obtained planning permission to expand the East Stand. This would bring the stadium's capacity up to 40,000. However, in 2010, the club backflipped and once again chose to have a bid in place for the relocation of the club to the Olympic Stadium. On the 11th of February 2011, the Olympic Park Legacy Committee selected West Ham as the preferred club to move into the Olympic Stadium after the 2012 Olympic Games. The decision in favour of West Ham's bid was unanimous. On the 3rd of March 2011, West Ham United's proposal to move to the Olympic Stadium was approved by the British government and the London Mayor Boris Johnson. But due to ongoing legal challenges to the arrangement by Tottenham Hotspur and Leighton Orient, the deal to sell the Olympic Stadium to West Ham collapsed on the 11th of October 2011. After further negotiations, on the 22nd of March 2013, West Ham won the Olympic Stadium bid. West Ham were offered a 99-year lease and hoped to move there in time for the 2016-2017 season. In February 2014, West Ham announced the sale of the bowling ground to development company the Gayard Group to be effected once the move to the Olympic Stadium was complete. On the 10th of May 2016, West Ham United played their final match at Upton Park and the opponent were Manchester United. The match was preceded by violence on Green Street when the coach Karen, the players and staff of Manchester United was pelted with missiles resulting in broken windows. With the coach delayed, the kickoff was also delayed by approximately half an hour. In the 2398th match to be played at the ground, West Ham took an early lead against Manchester United. However, Manchester United equalised and then scored a further goal through Anthony Martial. In the second half, Mikel Antonio scored a goal for West Ham to equalise to make it 2 all before Winston Reid in the 80th minute scored a goal to make it three goals to two and therefore ensured West Ham would run out winners in their final match to be played at Upton Park. It was West Ham's 384th Premier League match at the ground, their 990th in the top division, and their 1,662nd ever league match at the ground. The win also signified 601 home Premier League points won there. Mark Noble was named man of the match in the game. The seal of the ground was completed on the 15th of July 2016 at a price of £40 million. The developers' plans included 838 new homes, retail outlets and a leisure facility, which would be available by 2018. The record attendance at the ground was 42,322 against Tottenham in the old First Division on the 17th of October 1970, when the North and South Banks were terraced, as was the old Chicken Run at the front of the East Stand. Some other interesting facts which happened at Upton Park. On the 12th of February 2003, England played against Australia in an international friendly with Australia winning three goals to one. The match is best known for marking Wayne Rooney's international debut. The ground also hosted two international friendlies that didn't feature England. In 2010, the Ivory Coast beat Italy one goal to nil there. And in 2014, Argentina played against Croatia and Argentina won two goals to one with Lionel Messi scoring a penalty in the 57th minute. The ground also had another tenant between 1991 and 1992. Charlton Athletic played their matches at the ground due to the fact that the valley, where they played for many years beforehand, was deemed unfit to host uh, professional football, so they had to play at Upton Park for two years. West Ham also set a lot of club records while they were based at Upton Park. On the 10th of January 1998, they recorded their biggest ever win in the Premier League at home. They beat Barnsley six goals to nil. In the Old Division 1, on the 19th of October 1968, they beat Sunderland 8 goals to nil. And they also recorded their biggest ever FA Cup and League Cup wins at the ground. On the 10th of January 1914, in the FA Cup, they beat Chesterfield 8 goals to 1. And then in the League Cup, in 1983, they defeated Berry 10 goals to nil. They also played some European football while based at the ground. They played UEFA Cup Winners' Cup games and your way for cup matches as well. So that concludes my video on Upton Park, or some people used to call it the bowling ground, the former home ground of West Ham United from 1904 to 2016. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know your memories of Upton Park. I'm pretty sure there's 
tons of people that follow my channel that would have gone there and would have uh, seen West Ham or whoever they support play there. So let me know your memories and thoughts of the video down below. And also, if you're on social media, I have an Instagram, TikTok and Facebook page. I'll put a link in the description below for those pages. And I also run a Ruby League channel and I've got Ruby League pages as well if you like Ruby League. I'll put links in the description below for those channels. But anyways, this has been History of Football and I'll catch us all later in the next video. Alright, tatty bye for now.